can pick up a bag of water only soil and grow healthy medicine. That's the goal here. Oh, it feels good. It feels like silk, actually. For every 16 feet of growing area, use 30 to 90 gallons of soil. everybody, Chad Westport here. Now you might have seen my announcement video on the Future Cannabis Project FCP02 channel. And that announcement was I was going to switch from synthetics over to a organic soil or a living soil uh, for the next run. And in that video I announced I was going to try two different brands. Again, it's always good to have two different things because you don't know if it's user error if one of them messes up. But if both of them mess up, could be user error. So I built that into this experiment for the sake of science. But anyways, I wanted to give you a closer look at one of the choices, KISS Organics. And I went with their biochar water only soil mix. We're going to see how this works, but let's take a closer look at it and learn a little bit about this product. Now you, you might call me nostalgic, but KISS Organics is based in Washington State, where I'm also located, but even closer to home, Avondale Road, where the original farm was. I used to live less than a mile from there 30 years ago, from this exact farm. So, call me nostalgic, but I wanted to give this a try. You also might call me practical, because KISS Organics has a good reputation. A lot of people have used their products. A lot of people speak highly of it. So that's why it made the short list of things that I was going to try for this next run. All right, so flipping our bag over and taking a look at the information on the back, that's something that I always love to do because I want to know all I can about the certain product. And the Kiss Organics, the Biochar Water Only Soil Mix, they've got some great information here. They also have a lot of great information on their website. But I just kind of want to go over what the bag says with you because that's how we can learn together. So first of all, it's a 1.5 cubic foot bag that equates to a little over 11 gallons. If you're using multiple containers, you can do the math and figure out how many bags of this you're going to need. Um, this says that it's specially formulated to allow you to grow from seedling to harvest with no other inputs but water for up to six months. That's kind of what this test is about. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and that can mean, you know, all kinds of plants. But again, I think this is kind of formulated looking at the cannabis plant. Uh, has no manures, no guanos, no synthetic chemicals, no fillers, only the highest quality ingredients. That's what it says on the bag. I kind of have a tendency to believe it, um, knowing KISS Organics kind of track record, philosophy, where they come from. And, you know, again, uh, history speaks loudly. They've got a good track record of doing things uh, naturally. So no need to flush the soil. Again, there's no salts in there. Uh, and premium quality compost and peat selection based on research in our laboratory using phase contrast microscopy. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but again, I'm gonna tend to believe them. I can look it up, but I'm pretty sure they're putting the goods in there. That says it right there. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not, not using my pointer, man. Okay. Um, so over here, kind of the guaranteed analysis. Again, this is your NPK. We got N at 0.5, P at 0.3, K at 0.2. Uh, it also has a little bit of calcium in there, 1%, so highest number. Uh, again, don't need to go adding any cow mag to this bad boy. Um, derived from, awesome stuff in there. Take a look at that. Uh, that's where they get a lot of the ingredients, but I want to read the ingredients for you here. Uh, sphagnum peat moss, pumice, composted fish, virgin forest slash biochar, earthworm castings, alfalfa meal, fish meal, kelp meal, uh, crustacean meal, fishbone meal, feather meal, glacial rock dust, basalt, oyster shell flour, neem cake, karanja cake, lime for pH control, and dolomite lime for pH control. Now, that's a lot of stuff. 
they're all great ingredients that if you've been following the living soil conversation you're familiar with them um, I like that it has this stuff in there it kind of gives me the feeling of a complete mix that's great I don't want to run into any weird deficiencies along the way so they got you covered there uh, but let me go to the pro tips here real quick I really like this section because you know first of all they recommend a minimum of seven gallon container if you're going for a full cycle plant we're going for full cycle plants so again seven gallons seems to be the consensus as for as small as you want to go. Um, for every 16 feet of growing area, use 30 to 90 gallons of soil. Conveniently, 16 square feet is four by four. A lot of people are using the four by four beds. Uh, and here is where I need to pay a lot of attention and everybody else too. Coming from like the cocoa or the regular soils, living soils or well, organic soil in this case, it needs to stay wetter and uh, it says water frequently to keep the soil evenly moist for best results keep the soil near field capacity for those who don't understand field capacity uh, if you're dumping in water you start to see gravitation pull it out that's at field capacity so when they say near field capacity I'm gonna get it there I'm gonna let it dry a little bit to back it off from capacity because they say just near it uh, and then I'll put the plant in. And they also recommend to test the soil, take a handful and squeeze it firmly. If a drop or two of water comes out, then the soil is near field capacity. So that's a good double check. And I actually emailed Kiss Organics about this. And they suggested it's better to water less more frequently. So that is something that I'm going to try because their next data points don't apply to me. Uh, they said if you're using a moisture meter, aim for 80 to 120 M bar for the best results. They, you know, they got like the blue mat irrigation. That's kind of where that number comes into play. I'm not using that system. Uh, and they said if you wish to add additional nutrients, please refer to the rest of their product line uh, or use other nutrients at a quarter of their recommended rate. And that's another kind of bonus too. Um, they make amendments that you can add into the soil and you know down here it says uh, if you're growing larger plants in a smaller container you might need to amend it they have the nutrient pack which is kind of balanced for this soil and that is a plus you know again you got two lego pieces going together you're not trying to make something fit they know the formula they'll make it fit and so in addition to their nutrient packs you know again once you buy this bag of soil uh, the plants are going to use the charge in it but you can continue to reuse the soil if you re-amend it and they've got the recipe. So that's a huge bonus. A lot of people, especially the organic and living soil types, they're looking to reuse. They don't want to buy new. They want to close the loops. They want to cut costs. It's more environmentally friendly. So this bag will see plenty of uses for me. So this is the back of the bag. This is the information that I'm seeing. I'm liking it. But now let's take a look and open the bag, see what we got. Alright, ooh, smells nice and earthy in here. Nice dark color, you know, kind of like a lot of the worm castings that we see. Um, let's feel, oh wow, super light. Squeeze it like that, forms into a little ball. I don't see any drops, so it needs water for uh, the directions on the back. Check but... out the um, pumice stone in here. Super big, nice chunks in there. I've actually never used anything that large. I always use the small perlite. Uh, so that'll be cool. Probably help with the aeration quite a bit. Nooks and crannies, but yeah, nice and soft, nice and feathery. Um, looking forward to getting growing with this stuff. Uh, I expect good results and uh, we'll find out so stay tuned so there you go those are my first impressions of the soil again it's water only we're gonna see how long that lasts without needing any supplementation I'm gonna try to let it go all the way but like I said earlier I'm not growing production sized plants here this is based for the home grow I want something that people new to this or people with limited time or limited mobility 
can pick up a bag of water only soil and grow healthy medicine. That's the goal here. So stay tuned and be sure to check out the other video I did on the other soil that I'm using in this same experiment. You can catch the updates here on my channel as well as on the SCP-02 channel. So thanks for watching. Everybody have a good day. Party on. Uh...